So you want your chart or charts to remain visible as you scroll down your worksheet. I'm going to show you two methods. The first method, really simple to use, but it may not meet all your requirements. The second method requires a little bit of VBA code, which I shall provide for you. So first method, what you're going to do is click in a cell beneath your chart or charts. Then I'm going to go to the view tab on the ribbon. I'm going to go to freeze panes, freeze panes. And then when I scroll down my data, you can see that the charts remain on the screen. This method also freezes this part of the data. So it also remains visible on the screen. So that may not be quite what you want, but that's the simple method anyway. Let's go on to the VBA method. Now for the moment, we're just going to do this for one of the charts, but I'll show you how to do it for both charts eventually. What you're gonna do is right click on the sheet tab and then go to view code and that'll open the visual basic editor. Now you may not see option explicit at the top of your screen. Don't worry too much about that. Now, what I want you to do is to paste in the code that I've provided for you with this video. And this code is only going to affect one of the charts on the worksheet. And that is in fact, chart two, you can see that there. Now to find out what the name of your chart is, what you need to do is select one of your charts, go to the format tab, and then go to selection pane. And that'll show you which chart you have selected. So I've got chart two there selected. And if I select that one, that's chart three. So those are the names you can use in your code. And you'll notice that the names are enclosed within quotation marks within the brackets. Now this code runs whenever there is a selection change in your worksheet. And what it's gonna do is position the top of the chart a certain distance from the top of the active window. So I've given a space of five points between the top of the window and the top of the chart. And this line here is basically aligning the left of the chart object, 200 points from the left side of the active window. So those are your position coordinates, which you can change for your scenario. So let's see how this actually works in practice. If I scroll down my list and I select a cell, you can see that this chart moves down and it's staying five points away from the top of the window and 200 points away from the left side of the window. So you do have to select a cell for this macro to run. Now, if I want to do this for both charts, I would need to provide some additional code. So here are the two lines of additional code. So both these lines of code apply to chart three. The first line of code is the same as the first line of code for chart two, but the horizontal position of the chart is slightly different. What I've had to do is consider the width of chart two and include that width in the setting for the left position of chart three. So if I minimize this, you'll see how this works. Chart three now moves down with chart two. Now, what happens if I have chart three below chart two? Well, for this scenario, I need to change the code for the position of the top of chart three, and that needs to consider the height of chart two. You can see that code there. So if I minimize this, you'll now see that if I select a cell down here, that both charts move one under the other. Okay, so I'll make all these different variations on the code available to you in the description of this video. That's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.